Hi, my name is Andy, obsessed with anarchist, and today we're going to be talking about my favorite thing ever. So, basically I have these phases of like going through like my favorite stuff. I don't know if this is like normal, I don't know too many people, so, but um, I just go through phases where I'll like a fandom and hop from the fandom to a bunch of other stuff. And recently I got into a very good sitcom, It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. If you don't know what that is, I highly recommend it, but it's it's got edgy humor, so if you don't like that, then don't watch it. But um, if you have a Hulu account, then do watch it. It's freaking good. Um, I, I've been obsessed with it. I started watching in like the, like the end of uh, June. So yeah, I've been obsessed with it for like two months and I'm just like, because it's so, I I can literally ramble on and on about how good it is. Basically, the premise is of, like, I don't know how many people, but, like, I think five um, people who are just assholes being assholes. And they're the gang. And the characters are Mac McDonald, who's played by uh, Rob McElhenney. I don't know how to say his name right. Um, Dennis Reynolds, played by Cl uh, Glenn Howerton. His sister, D Reynolds, played by Caitlin Olsen, who I fucking hate because she defends blackface. Um, <laughs> but this is not a call-out video on her. Don't know if I'll make that, but probably. I don't know. But um, Charlie um, Kelly, who's my favorite. I love him with all my heart. He's my rat boy. And he's played by Charlie Day, who I also love. He's, he's great. And uh, Frank Reynolds, who is played by Danny DeVito. So if you like Danny DeVito, I don't know how you haven't heard of so it's always sunny yet if you if you love him but yeah watch it it's good but he doesn't appear until like the second season but yeah uh i got into the fandom like at the worst time because like in a year like 2021 it's supposed to end so i'm just like it's a ah so <laughs> yeah i'm like upset about that but it might have to be like pushed back a year ahead because you know the virus that's going on uh, if you're watching this in the future when we don't have a virus going on, uh, yeah, how's the outside world like? Uh, <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna talk about each individual character, my headcanons of them, and, like, why I like them. So, I don't know if there will be spoilers, but if you, I'll edit something if I, like, a, a head, if I do say spoilers, but leave if there is spoilers. Uh, first is Mech McDonald. He is, yeah, this is a spoiler, leave by, um, he is gay, he comes out as gay, um, like, at the 10th season, or something like that, like, no, it's the 13th season, so it's, like, right before it's, like, gonna, it ended, um, for this period of time, but yeah, uh, I have a headcanon of him, of, sorry, I have a headcanon of him, that he is, uh, homosexual by romantic which means like he has sex with guys um but he dates like all or both however you see bi as but here's a funny story about that so i have lots of headcanons that like differ from canon like in canon he's just gay and um i posted that like i made an icon of, of him with the gay man flag and the bi flag and i said oh my god i love this and then someone called me a homophobe because I had Ken Mac as something different than what the show was. Uh-huh. I mm hmm And I said, okay, yeah, me a gay man is very homophobic. Mm-hmm. And yeah, I know gay people can be homophobic, but like that's not a homophobic thing. And also this person was like twenty or it's like twenty five, like it was in their bio. I'm just like get a life, my dude. Like, I know we're in quarantine, but, like, do you not have any hobbies or passions? Like, <laughs> yeah, anyway. Um, I had Can Mac with Tourette's, and I don't know why I just thought about that one day, and I was like, that seems about right. Um, I, I think he's, like, super into dogs. He loves dogs. He is, like, a dog dad. Like, he's just, he has a lot of dad energy. Sorry about eyelash in my eye. Um, He has a lot of dad energy, and I think he is very stuck in the 80s, and he's, like, a dad who doesn't understand, like, all the technologies, 
And yeah, that's for, that's Mac. Then I have Dennis, who, um, I love him. <laughs> he, I, I, he's an asshole and he sucks, like, a, a lot. But, like, he's so good. I don't know why, but I love him. <laughs> I don't, there's not really much to say on that, but, um, I almost spilled my coffee everywhere. I had canned him to be, um, bisexual homoromantic, which is, like, opposite of what Mac I had canned him as. Basically, he has sex with all or both, however you see bisexuality. And, um, he only dates men. Because, like, it's in canon that he doesn't like to date girls. So, that's that was my take on it. Some people think he's just gay and, like... As someone who's not a freaking weirdo, um, I don't care what the headcanon is. I think that's cool, because I don't care. He, people could headcanon him as, like, a lesbian for all I care. I don't care. <laughs> it's not real. Uh, so, yeah, Dennis. A lot of people like to say he's a sociopath, and I'm just like... But, like, they use it in a derogatory way, and I'm just like, don't do that. But, yeah. Um, I love him. I keep saying I love him, but it's true. Um, I had canned him to be, like, very into animals. Like, he doesn't have a good time expressing his, like, empathy for, like, humans. But, like, he does for animals. And he has, like, a soft spot for animals. Except for Ma Maureen Ponderosa. <laughs> if you've if you've wa watched that far, then you know what I mean. And, um, I had canned he, uh... Him and Charlie were like a thing in high school. Basically, my storyline with that is Dennis came to school in um, seventh grade as a new kid. And he came and he was just like, I'm the golden god of the school. And people made fun of him for that. But Charlie was like, I want to be friends with him. And so that's how they met. And for a long time, Dennis only saw Charlie as Mac's like annoying friend. But Charlie started to have a crush on him. So yeah, I'm still gonna write probably like a fan fiction and like on AO3 or something. But um, he, Charlie, I love Charlie so much. I have so much to say because like I I project a lot into my favorite characters, and also he's one of my FOs, fictional others, fictional crushes, whatever you want to call it. And um, so yeah, I have a lot of stuff to say about him. <clears throat> Basically, um, it listen. Okay, a lot of people think he's a trans guy, and, um, I love that, but also I don't because, like, I shit myself with him, and, like, I prefer, like, like, cis dick. Um, <laughs> sorry if you're, like, a trans guy watching that. I, like, don't take offense to it, okay? Um, it's not like I'm opposed to dating trans men or anything like that, it's just, like, a preference. But, um, yeah, I have, like, I have multiple headcanons for different things. Like, sometimes I feel like he's a sighting male at birth and then he's trans mask. It depends how I feel. But, um, anytime I feel like he's non-binary, he, he, I had him, can him as autistic, too. So, like, autistic people, like, see gender, a gender very differently than others. So, I see that a lot. And I see him as, like, someone with DPD, um, dependent personality disorder. Because, like, no matter how much the gang treats him like shit, he always, like, sticks with them. And, like, it depends on them for, like, happiness and stuff. So, another projecting thing of mine. <laughs> and, um, I, uh, I already said I headcanon him as an non-binary. Um, I also headcanon him as, um, uh what was it, <laughs> a, like, quadrasian, like, non-binary loving man, but he also, like, had a complicated thing with sexuality. Some people had canned him as asexual, I don't, but, like, if you do, that's fucking rad. Asexuals are rad. So, um, I had canned him as, like, just, he likes the simple things in life. He likes being a janitor, he likes finding gross things, and also, in my head canon, he runs a cursed image blog, if you know what that is like that subcategory of the internet then yeah he he runs that also random headcan that i came up with last night um he sniffs like a dog like like when he's intensely sniffing things he'll just like so <laughs> yeah i i love him he's good and one more thing about him uh, i had can him as like liking pet play and if you don't know what that is i'm not going to explain it on here um because i can't explain it that well but um he is obsessed with cats to the point he like acts like a cat so like 
yeah he's into pet play and he's also kin with cats so yeah i love charlie he's fucking awesome so yeah that's all my stuff i want to say because i don't really care for d that much my only headcanon really is she's a lesbian but she's like manip she like wants to be straight because she hates herself but like she's actually a lesbian um and also like the creators of uh it's always sunny have like come out and said like none of their characters are straight so i'm just like good <laughs> so i'm very happy about that because like before i knew what it's always sunny in philadelphia was i like heard the name a lot because it's like a very popular show um but I always, I looked at it and I was like, this looks very heterosexual, very cishet, white, <laughs> all the things, like, I am not, besides the white part, obviously, look at me. But yeah, um, I was just, like, very skeptical of it at first, but then I kept hearing good stuff about it and I saw Charlie Day and I was like, that's a hot man. So I was like, we're watching it now. So yeah, that's how It's Always Sunny came to be in my world. And now I'm obsessed with it. I want to roleplay the characters in it, so if you roleplay and you like It's Always Sunny, freaking comment and then I will respond to you and then we can figure something out like where we can DM or text or whatever. But yeah, that's all I wanted to say today. I want to make a quick video. Probably won't edit this a lot because I'm very lazy. But just watch one of my other videos, like and subscribe or dislike, I don't care, and bye.